much as, let's say, organized crime units follow the money, it's really useful when you're working with other people and working with yourself to follow the anxiety. Anxiety is so common. So a lot of good tools have been developed, like learning how to relax the body through progressive relaxation or other means, mobilizing the so-called relaxation response. It's helpful also to bring up a sense of strength inside that you're able to deal with challenges. It's also helpful to recognize that even while your mind is flashing red, 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 threat level orange, threat level red, blah, 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 actually, you're okay. Actually, it's not so bad. Actually, if you went to do that thing, there wouldn't be such a bad thing that would occur. You can develop the inner resource of accurate estimations of risks and threats and and pain to come. Another wonderful resource that's very relevant for the social anxieties. First is to appreciate how common social anxiety is. It's really common in the population. And often it has origins in childhood with kids who are slow to warm or who tend to be wary. They can form friendships, but they're initially wary. I think of the two kinds of kids in preschools. uh, In effect, one kind rushes into the middle of the room. Hey, I'm here. Where are my friends? The other kid, probably more like me going to preschool, walks through the door and immediately moves to the right to get a wall behind them where they stand and they watch for a while, but then gradually warm up to the situation. So in terms of social anxiety, one, accepting that about yourself and appreciating common humanity while also, again and again, internalize the felt sense of others who care about you. Internal allies, attachment figures, fairy godmothers, through repeatedly internalizing what I call the caring committee inside, then you have resources inside you can draw upon who will encourage you and soothe you when you're dealing with social anxieties of one kind or another. 